For over 70 years, the Miss Montana competition has been a mainstay in Big Sky Country, sending girls who win the title here in the Treasure State to go compete for the title of Miss America. Most recently, Helena native Faith Johnson brought home the honor and it has been hustling since. Three days after I won, I went to Miss Wyoming to watch the new Miss Wyoming be crowned. Four days after that, I went to Miss Washington to watch the new Miss Washington be crowned. I was just in the Butte Fourth of July parade. But the program, which traditionally provides the opportunity for the winner to assume the role of Miss Montana for the entire year and to prepare for the Miss America competition, isn't in a place where it can do that. We still don't have the funding that we used to have, and I'm finding all my own sponsorships and funding, and I had to start a GoFundMe because I have to pay my way to Miss America now. During the pandemic, the directors of the Miss Montana pageant opted to leave the program, and for two years, competitors were left to wonder if it would ever return. One day I happened to be on Facebook, and there was a plea for help for Montana. Basically, they said, we need people who know the Miss America program who can help in Montana. And of course, I raised my hand. I said, well, hey, I'm retiring. I'm moving there. No problem. What I didn't realize was that they wanted me to be the executive director. Danette Swain volunteered in Miss America competitions in Washington and New York and now Montana. And while the Miss Montana program is not what it was, she hopes through hard work it can return to it. I had a wonderful young lady that was crowned, very proactive um, in getting sponsors and such. And I have no doubt faith will be the same. But for us, it's, it's a total rebuild. It's a total overhaul. Um, since last year. However, in the meantime, Johnson noted she is thankful for the opportunity to don the Miss Montana sash and compete for Miss America. But because the program has been pared down, alongside her responsibilities as Miss Montana, she's having to work part-time to help supplement. While the money coming in from her part-time job is helping, Johnson also has a GoFundMe to raise funds to help travel around the state as Miss Montana into the Miss America competition and pounding the pavement, searching for sponsorships not only for her, but for the program in the future. I hope that I can bring in a bunch of sponsors that we'll be able to keep for future Miss Montanas because I don't want them to have to go through what I've had to go through trying to find all these sponsors and my board, my new executive director has been working very hard trying to find sponsors and I want to be able to keep them, retain them for these new Miss Montanas because this is such a wonderful program. We are a true 501c3 as a, operating as a nonprofit. We need to act like one and we're in it doing it for the girls and for their betterment. To learn more about Johnson and the Miss Montana program, be sure to check out the story on our website. In Helena, Sam Hoyle, MTN News.